Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Merit and today I'm going to do a foundation review and first impression. I just got yesterday this new, new-ish Catrice uh, HD Liquid Radiance foundation and I think this was launched last summer but it's still not sold in, in Finland. I ordered this from online. Uh, I have already previously used and loved the original one which is more than a matte side and now they have this radiance one. And as I have dry skin I always look forward to the radiant foundation so I'm, I'm so excited to try this. And on the old one I, I have the shade 010 and now I order two shades because I noticed that they launched a bit lighter one as well and I, I hope this is more the cool side as I am a bit to the neutral cool side my skin and this is shade uh, 005. Here are the shades in natural lighting so there is no studio lights here. Uh, this is the shade uh, 010 in the original HD coverage liquid foundation and this is the 010 in radiance foundation. So there is quite a huge difference with these two. And then there is this 005, the other shade which is new one or the lighter one. So you can see these all are very very different even though these are supposed to be the same color and this is just a bit lighter. Then I have another product as well. I've noticed that they have a liquid concealer drops. Uh, this is called One Drop Coverage Weightless Concealer. I have shade 004 which is Ivory Rose. They have also 003 but it was sold out so I think that is, I hope that is more to the warm side and this is to the cool side. But these are the two ones I'm going to test today so let's get started. I start with the shade 005 as it looks like it's more to my, my skin color. Uh, I usually pump my foundation to this kind of small, I think this is for sushi or something like that. And then I'm going to use, to this side I'm going to use e.l.f. Uh, foundation brush and on the other side I'm going to use my Eco Tools sponge so we can see how this performs. But first before I forget I need to prime my my face and today I think I'm going to use this Guerlain Meteorites because I know how this works so um, I, I know it won't cause any problems with the foundation. Um, I always use primer so some people think that it's not it's not fair for the foundation uh, if I'm testing it to use primer, but to me my T-zone is so so oily usually that if I want my makeup last I always use primer. I don't use anything on my cheeks just to see how moisturizing it is and does it turn out to be really dry or not on my cheeks which are the driest area. Okay, the color match is really, really good. I'm so happy. And it has really the same kind of coverage as does the um, HD original foundation. As you can see, it really covers easily everything on my, on my face. This blends out really nice and smooth. I didn't use any pore filling primer just to see how it reacts with the big pores of mine. Uh, the primer I use doesn't fill any pores, it just makes my foundation last longer. So it won't do anything for that, but this looks beautiful. So let's go with the sponge. I had zero problems with the brush, so I really liked it. I usually use brushes on my foundations. I just 
I'm actually just too lazy to go and wet my sponge and for some reason I just prefer the brushes. It builds up beautifully so no problems with, with that either. The shade is maybe a bit too light for me. In this studio lighting it, it looks really pale but in I have a huge mirror in front of me so in this it looks like just a tad too light so maybe next time I, I'll mix those two foundation shades together but or just use bronzer because this looks very very close to my skin this is beautiful this is really really beautiful I'm, I'm, I expected a lot, but I didn't expect it to look this good, so I'm really happy. So next, next step is very interesting. So this concealer, I always use brush with my concealer. This is Zoeva Concealer Blender uh, 145. I just take a small amount. Okay, this you really need a small amount of this. I seem to have a little bit of puffiness to this morning. I don't know why, but that's just welcome to your 40s. Again, this looks really beautiful. This is so beautiful. It's really like, it feels like my under eye area is really moisturized and, and fresh and my skin looks so good now. Uh, this is this is exactly the feeling that my skin looks now so perfect that I don't want to powder but I know that if I don't powder it it will look quite awful in in few hours so I just I I, I think I just powder just a tiny bit and then it can it can be like that the powder I use on my under area is this backup brightening powder and for my nose, I think I'm going to use uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'll do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Without the lips now and I'll be back soon. So I'll do my the rest of my makeup and I'll be back then. All right, I have now put my eye makeup on. Um, something I noticed now with this foundation is that it really <laughs> is a radiance foundation and it looks now um, kind of oily in the way that if you have had your makeup on for a day and your T-zone is getting a bit oily, not in, in a too oily way and disturbing way, but just a, a bit glowy and oily looking. So this is now already looking like that. So I, I think I'm going to add a little bit of powder on my forehead um, to see that what happens with that one. So I'm going to add a little bit of Laura Mercier powder. I have powdered my nose already because that I know that I always, always, always have to powder but I, I add a little bit of powder to my chin and my forehead because I think this foundation is going to get really oily during the day. I haven't powdered my cheek and I haven't used any powder products so because that's, that's the oiliest, um, that's the uh, driest area on my skin and there is absolutely no way that that area is going to get too oily so at least I don't believe so. If it's going to happen, then I'm really surprised. Also, new product for me is this lip, Dewyful Lips from Catrice. I'm, I'm always looking for something nude because it's surprisingly difficult to find something nude if you are fair and cool toned. They usually end up looking like you have sausages on your lips or something like that, so it's, it's just not pretty. Okay, this looks pretty. 
this day is quite a success for my makeup today so at least for now I, I really enjoy this look I have here my skin looks really nice now that I powdered my my forehead the the most of the dewiness is gone but it's still there so it does show through the powder and I think when I'm um, having have this on for a few hours it will come through back and my cheeks look really beautiful so having dry skin and having your cheeks look so radiant and moist is really something beautiful and um, the time is now I think 10 o'clock yes 10 a.m. so uh, I'll do some checks ups during the day and we'll see how it goes the foundation has been now on for an hour and I'm I'm standing in front of the mirror now. Uh, I'm sorry the light is not better. It's middle of the winter in, here in Helsinki and it's very cloudy. So this is as light as it gets. Um, everything is still going well with the foundation. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. As you can see, I have some creasing on my under eye area, which I'm not so surprised as this is so, so, so moisturizing um, concealer. Um, nothing I can't handle with. I, I, I rather have a little bit of creasing than too much um, under eye area. So, so far everything is so far everything is going well and i'll be checking up in in after a few hours all right i've had this foundation now on for eight and a half hours so i think it's time to do a check up uh, as you can see i do look a bit more glowy than i was in the morning but not not too bad actually um, my forehead looks pretty much the same as this foundation was b before um, powder so it's been lasting really well my nose has been rubbed off a little bit uh, maybe because I've been taking this jumper off and on a few times today I've been going out and it's cold outside and warm inside so that's why um, my chin is also rubbed off because of this jumper, so that's nothing, nothing to be worried about. My cheeks are still beautiful. They look still very refreshing, refreshed and, and glowy and really good, so not at all dry. So this is something big because almost every foundation looks really dry on my cheeks during this time of day, so this is really great one. The concealer lasted really well. It has rubbed off, but that's because of my mascara. I used the Last Princess from Essence for some reason, even though I know that it smudges my eyes. As you can see, I have this darkness. This is not eyeshadow, or mostly this is just mascara. So I have been doing this most of the day and it has rubbed off. But um, I, I could see during the day that it lasted really well and it looked really beautiful so I'm definitely going to use both of these for the for the next time for or at least for some time to see how they really work but so far so good I, I really enjoy both of these products the lip product I used it's um, it's not lasting that well it's really beautiful but um, it, it's it, it's okay it's not my favorite it's nothing bad it's it's okay so the color is great and it's quite affordable, so it's, it's, well, okay. I can recommend if you have really dry skin uh, or very dry combo skin, but if you have, I don't know, even normal skin might not work so well as this is so oily kind of feeling. Oily skin, definitely not, <laughs> no way. So keep, keep away from this if you have oily skin, this is not for you. Um, but for dehydrated skin, mature skin, uh, dry skin, yes, definitely beautiful product. 
So I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Uh, you can follow me also in Instagram and Twitter and send a message through there as well. It's Merit of Beauty in both of those. Uh, I hope you have subscribed already so you can see when I get load the next video and now I wish you have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye.